Network of awareness makes your brain coherent. One of the fastest growing podcasts, you hear it 24 7. You got listeners out in London, information and in Paris. The echoes spreading out, no parrot. Just dissect, digest, and share it. The righteous rhymes hit the spirit. Click 90 times, it won't perish. Cause Yaz the mind ain't no fairy tale like the barely our parents. It's time to rise, don't get weary. United minds, it's apparent. Download every single Aaron, but most ain't fit to catch it, even if they were Larry. Interviews, the interludes, they into you, taking you on a journey like no other. It places you in a state of awareness. It's your fault if you hate the truth. Cause y'all even y'all always on this way, my brother. Better change your views. All praise to Yah. Peace and greetings, presenting the Network of Awareness podcast radio station, providing in-depth information on society and culture in America and abroad, bringing you truth messages of inspiration, keen insight, reputable interviews, and so much more. So now, for the truth you've been waiting for, your host of the Network of Awareness podcast. Aura, aura, informationalist, 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 informationalist. Peace <clears throat> and greetings, people. This is all the informationalist. And uh, we got a great show here on Most High Mondays. And this is the first day of the new but old schedule. And what do I mean by that? It means I'm going live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you don't get a live show, I'll mark it in the note. That it's a pre-recorded show For show At 7pm Eastern Standard Time Monday through Friday Yes We back again live Five days a week baby You know how we do So With that being said Today on Most Time Mondays This live broadcast We're doing You know Gratitude because you got to have an attitude of gratitude And this is part two I know I've done a show like this before But we're going to do another one Because gratitude, just like faith Is something that, if well practiced Can be another superpower And we're going to discuss that here on the Network of Awareness So I'm going to start the show with a song And I'm going to put some descriptions into the description box along with the artwork for today's show. So while I'm doing that, let's rock out to a song called Can't Stop Now. Here we go, brothers and sisters. This is with me, uh, with Take One and I. It's called Can't Stop Now. We'll be right back on the Network of Awareness, baby. Let's go. Peace, brother. I don't have a lot of time, Take. They got the dogs on me. You know, they really trying to get me to take this science appliance, brother. And you know I'm not doing that, man. Oh, where you at? Not doing it. I'm in an undisclosed location right now. Up in the nature spot near that cabin I used to go to. But they they got the dogs tracking me. They got the satellites. So... They eventually gonna get here I got it barricaded, you know what I'm saying? Cause the only way I'm taking that jab Is if I'm in a bag, brother So take, I just wanna tell you this 
before anything else happens And I wanna get this out to you and let you know Alright brother, take it, you'll take it You're at the door I gotta tell you, just, just listen brother, just listen Now it's time to get out your own way Allow your way, today is your day To amaze in many ways Cause it's just another phase In this infinite space Where y'all be giving us grace I'm working the race With diligent praise a waver in faith, I'll be damned if I stray from y'all's will and embrace. Man sealed his fate with his ignorant ways. The world is disgrace, vibration has raised at a very fast pace. I'm present today in high frequency ways. No more being enslaved, or praise to Yahweh. A Hebrew boy from the land of the brave. From the cradle to the grave, to my very last day. Send a serpent to his cave, God favored my way. Never fearful or timid, it was written and given. No religion, the vision can stop a messenger that's fulfilling his mission. Worse before they get better But the story meant to last forever Even when the light is dim The sun finds a way to shine again Things are getting ugly, things are getting cold But I know it's best to stay in my zone And I can't stop now I can't stop now hey, I can't stop and won't stop, I gotta keep propelling Final destination is a room in the heavens Diligence and militants as well as my medicine I can live without a hat, but his love is my everything COVID is on the road, got the world on its toes So many sheep with their eyes closed Hey sir, would you like to take the jab? Man, kiss my ass, stop living by what the news told you You got injustice, brutality, saturating the streets Blood spilling for no reason, thanks to the police Meanwhile, syringes are being taken with speed Can't do it, you ain't sticking no vaccination to me Despite all the chaos, I still manage to stay on the right path. Gotta keep my focus and my faith strong. All day long. Let spiritual music play on. All the honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. Things uh. only get worse before they get better. But the story meant to last forever. Even when the light is dim, the sun finds a way to shine again. Things are getting ugly, things are getting cold. But I know it's best to stay in my zone. And I can't stop now. I can't stop now. Can't stop, I won't stop. 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 Just can't stop, I won't stop. What's happening to me in plain English with, without the mumbo jumbo? You are now tuned in to the network of awareness. To the network of awareness. To the network of awareness. So, peace and greetings, and good evening. This is Audi Informationist, owner and founder of the Network of Awareness. In today's episode, the attitude of gratitude to enjoy the little things. So we're going to discuss that. But before we do, let's just give a quick update. And today is most high Monday. So it's Monday, May 2nd. It's approximately 7.09 p.m. here in the Tampa Bay area. <clears throat> so people... Just a couple of updates. Uh, still working on the Roku channel, making sure that we get everything squared away for the launch. And that way, once we do, um, I will let you guys know. It'll either be sometimes toward the end of this month, but no later than the 1st of June. So stay on the lookout for that. Also, download the shows. Not just the Network of Awareness, but we do have other shows like the Righteous Rap Academy, which I think is uh, just from a listener perspective, not even the fact that, you know, it's with Take One and I'm a great supporter of him. But if I was just uh, a person looking from the outside in and, you know, a podcast enthusiast or somebody who listens once in a blue, it's a pretty good podcast to listen to. And it's also got some really great original music and if you're an enthusiast of original quality music that's not of the status quo norm music of today and you want something different something that's gonna 
give you those really good goosebumps that you haven't felt in a while, that's definitely a podcast that you should listen to, which is the Righteous Rap Academy. And then, of course, we got the Lion's Den, which is a really great show. Um, when it comes to being educated on just society and culture, when it comes to liberalism in the United States and the also the mindset of what a critical thinker is, and also a three-dimensional thinker and a two-dimensional, which Brother Oxacod breaks that a lot down in many of his shows. And he has one that just um, came out that says, Understanding the Three-Dimensional and Two-Dimensional Thinker. So definitely, you know, listen to those shows as far as Passion Pursues Purpose. That airs Tuesdays and Thursdays. And um, I have some new shows coming with that. That's on personal development and also spirituality. And we also have t-shirts coming out. Just haven't figured out which company I'm going to use or if we're going to do it independently. But the merch is going to be just t-shirts. I don't think I'm going to do anything else for, for now. I think shirts and different styles of shirts with different quotes uh, will be good enough. And what else? We're just going to really beef up the uh, website for the Roku channel for networkawareness.tv. So you'll be able to get a lot of good content from the channel. And uh, moving forward, you know, sometimes these shows will be pre recorded and sometimes they will be shorter. So if I do uh, pre records, they're going to be probably under an hour. But if I go live, you know, it's either going to be two to three or sometimes less, depending on the situation. But the good thing is that I'm going live five days a week as much as I can with everything that's going on. So the reason I chose the attitude of gratitude, too, is because I've talked about this before, but I think it's very important that we have to reflect on things that we need to keep as a consistent practice as men and women that have strong convictions in their belief systems because gratitude, and it doesn't really matter what religion you follow because it seems like gratitude is just that universal principle that resonates through all cultures and religions that currently exist because gratitude is one of those things that you cannot um, deny. It's, it's there for you to take advantage of, so to speak. Because once you start to be appreciative and be grateful for the things that are in your life on a consistent basis, it puts you in a certain state of vibration to where it's very hard to get distracted when you're in a constant state, being that attitude, the mentality, right? Because attitude is a mentality. Being in that mentality of gratitude where you're really truly appreciating the things that are going on in your life. Even when you get to that high, high level of thinking when it comes to gratitude, you'll start to appreciate all the messed up things that happen in your life. The failures, the mistakes. And you'll start to really increase your vibrational frequency to the point that your state of being on a consistent everyday basis, which is your second nature of living, is your way of life. You start keeping that mindset, then you're going to block off a lot of negative distractions that most people struggle with because you're going to be thinking about that so much that it's not really going to give you an opportunity to experience something negative. And I'm not saying that something can't happen out the blue that can disturb your peace. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about being in a constant state of gratitude where you're doing a constant reflection for the little things, but also being in that gratitude to the most high for all of those things that are happening. And all of the things that have happened up to present day. And sometimes your reflection, I don't think there's a, a code 
or a particular pattern that one has to think in regards to reflection. You can reflect from the past day to the past 50 years, 20 years, 10 years. It doesn't matter. The whole point of what I'm saying is that I've, I'm realizing that being in a constant state of gratitude really keeps you focused. Keeps you focused on things that matter. And it gives you the inspiration to want to seek that which matter experiences more and more instead of being get, getting caught up in the, what I like to call the action of distraction that'll close you in like captions, that'll keep you boxed in instead of being wide open to where your aura is emanating for miles and miles and miles away. So the attitude of gratitude is another power that I like to relate to faith, where if it's constantly being practiced, then it means that it's constantly elevating and getting stronger within your spirit. Because just like any muscle, just like anything that's repetitively practiced on a consistent basis, becomes second nature, becomes a part of you. It becomes ingrained into you. Because now the brain, the broadcasting station, has been programmed. You're programming your mind through your spirituality. Or it could be the reverse, right? And we all know what the reverse is. The reverse is those that are being socially and socially conditioned, socially engineered through the psyche to create certain patterns that are actually self-destructive and serve this beast system. But those of us that want to break free from that beast system, uh, beast system, it has to really focus on the things that matter and become disciplined in focusing on that because that's what's truly going to set you free because you're not caught up in the worldly world of things. Because the worldly world of things seem like they matter. They may have the image and even give off the perception because so many people practice it, right? Two-thirds to be exact. That it may give off the perception that it is good and it's, that's the way it should be. But it, it really is backwards. It's just an illusion. Just like everything is, right? Everything is an illusion. That's why everything is based on perception. So why not create an illusion that has a certain way of, of being, like a certain pattern where your pattern is always leading to praising and giving gratitude and having faith and gaining wisdom and allowing your spirit to be guided. All these things that are practices or what you would call culture, really, right? That's right. That's what it is, a culture. It's a different things that you do in a multitude, but all combined to one source. You're like, it's, some, it's one umbrella. And that being the most high, all of these different universal principles. And really, that's what the covenant is when it comes to laws and statutes. They're like principles, that one has to try to follow. We can't follow all of them because it takes a lifetime upon a lifetime, but hopefully you can practice enough to where your spirit is worthy for that transition. And these are my perceptions. This is not facts. I just, I don't want to state this like this is a matter of fact. This is how I perceive it. But I think that gratitude is definitely another superpower without a shadow of a doubt because if you don't have gratitude, you're going to replace that behavior. You're going to replace that pattern of thinking with something that's probably going to be negative. It's going to be opposite of gratitude. It's going to be that selfishness and that ruthlessness to, to gain more or possibly even greed too. It could be either one of those. But I was just thinking just in the past couple of months, what I'm so grateful for, because it leads, it's like a sequence of events that are all intricately connected, 
precisely connected because the most high don't make mistakes. And when you start to look back on it, it's like that movie or that reel or uh, a book. And you start to see how each page is interconnected precisely as it should be to the next event, to the next moment. And when you spend a little bit of time of introspection and you can look back on things, the, the level of gratitude, the intensity of it, I mean, the intensity of it, it really gets intensified to a greater level to where you can really experience that gratitude and have a moment. Some people tear up. Some people laugh. Whatever it is, that emotion is going to be expressed at a high level. And it's something that I've been experiencing lately because I could look back five years ago and look at how messed up things were. And they were so, let me drink some water here. They were so chaotic. And then little by little, things got better. Decisions were made. There had to be a high level of faith. There had to be some gratitude for the things I was going through and still surviving because whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And little by little, things got better. Give me one second, people. The attitude of gratitude should be part of our culture, should be way, our way of thinking. And then it all leads back to the most high. And that's why when we're constantly even saying it, that's a good practice to have. If you're constantly saying all praise to the most high, all praise to Yahweh Elohim, you can say all praise to Yahweh Ben Yahweh. You can say all praise to the great creator of that which is and always will be. Whatever it is that is your mantra, that brings you great power. And that's that's actually a fact. That's been proven for thousands of years. So I say again, today's episode is the attitude of gratitude. Part two. So people, let's take a quick break. Um... It's approximately 7.23 p.m. And we're just going to take a quick intermission and I'll be right back. You are now tuned in to the Network of Awareness. To the Network of Awareness. To the Network of Awareness. The Network of Awareness. Stage Green Radio. Radio.
So we're back. And I want to thank everybody that's been supporting the uh, Network of Awareness. And I'm very grateful that we're going back to five days a week, back to the old schedule. And uh, we're going to make it happen. I also want to give shout outs, as I do so often, to uh, the people that support and download the show. Because downloading definitely is important for us as podcasters. So if you can support us by doing that, that definitely makes... um, Makes a difference. Shout outs to uh, Argentina and Spain. Gracias. Shout outs to France, Netherlands, Saudi Arabia, United Kingdom, Australia, Germany, India, Canada. That's just in the last 30 days. Who else we got here in the United States? Shout outs to New Hampshire, Minnesota, Indiana, Kentucky. District of Columbia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Washington, Colorado. We got Michigan. Michigan, your numbers look looking nice. Thank you. We also have um, Alabama. Nice. Thank you. Uh, Arizona, South Carolina, Nevada, and of course, the regulars, New York, North Carolina, New Jersey, Louisiana, Georgia, Illinois, Texas, and Florida. Texas and Florida, it's like y'all go neck and neck every week. Sometimes it's Texas number one, then it's Florida, and sometimes Illinois jumps up. So thank you all for supporting. And um, back to the topic at hand, this gratitude thing. Um, I don't know about you people, you know, let me know, but... I guess when you start to look at the world with spiritual eyes, you start to understand you start to understand the world in a different way from most people. It automatically makes you a minority spiritually. And the challenge is not really knowing what you know. The challenge is really knowing what you know in the world that you live in that doesn't want to know for the most part. Just like in the movie, The Matrix, um, the last one, where I call him Doogie Howser, right? I always forget his name, the actor. They played the, uh, he played the architect. But that scene where he says that they don't want to be unplugged, they love it here. That's the world I'm talking about. So when you have spiritual eyes and you see the world in a different way, and you have a different level of understanding, the challenge is dealing with a society that levels of understanding is far lower. Doesn't mean that you're better than them. It just means that you understand things a lot better than they do. And that's the challenge. But if you're in a constant state of gratitude, you don't really get caught up in those distractions. And that's why I say I used to be a convincer or try to be. I used to try to be convincing of this truth. And so the Most High revealed to me that I was wasting time. Not just on myself, but on serving some purpose for the Most High. And then I started understanding that being the example is a far better way to be than trying to be a convincer. So in the chat room, let me know what y'all think because I, you know, of course, this is my perceptions of how I've been seeing things lately when it comes to trying to understand this truth the best way I know how. And when it comes to faith, that was the first one where I was like, faith is starting to become, if practice on a consistent basis, a superpower in these times of spiritual warfare where you need all the power and weapons you can get spiritually. People I know are focused on the physical and it's good to have a knife. It's good to have a a weapon of some sort to protect yourself, whatever that weapon may be. Some people are nice with sticks. Some people are nice with rope. Others with knives, guns, gas, (laughs) sprays, tasers, all that shit. Bombs. (laughs) People got a lot of ways of protecting themselves, depending on how 
you know, how intelligent they are. But when it comes to these superpowers and spiritual warfare, I think that faith and gratitude so far, as far as what I've been presenting recently, I mean, of course there's others, but, you know, we're doing a recap of some of the things from the past that we have to constantly reflect on, whether it be, uh, you know, 20 or 30 or 40 episodes apart, it's good to bring it back. And this one is definitely one that I felt spiritually compelled to present because maybe some of you have been practicing this. Maybe some of you have forgotten to practice it in certain aspects of your life. And sometimes it's good to remember to be grateful for what we have. And to also be grateful for the entire journey, which is the experiences that led you to where you at present day. The attitude of gratitude, part two. And for me, to give you a little storyline to this, is that I look back to when I first moved to Florida because moving to Florida was a very pivotal decision and experience that led to a whole new, pretty much a whole new life. It was like starting over again and it started out real rough. <laughs> That's, you know, I'm trying not to curse this episode. I want this episode to be clean so it goes out to more people, but it was real raw. It was real, it was a, it was a bumpy ride to say the least. And a lot of it had to be with being a single dad with a, with a daughter that was very much angry and wanted to take their anger out on the parent. You know, they just finally got to spend some quality time as far as on a consistent basis. But for whatever reason, things seem like they don't work out. But even when they don't work out, it's working you out spiritually. So as I reflect and I start to see the little things that have happened that have led to where I'm at now, it's it's a... It's good to come from that negative feeling, right? That feeling of despair, the feeling of remorse, the feeling of depression, hate, anger, you know, just a lot of low level vibrations. And then to slowly come to a point where you start reflecting on things and you're like, damn, I'm so far away from that right now that my level of thinking and way of being is a contentment that is really at a high level because happiness, like I say, is always coming and going. But if you could be content with who and what and where and how you are as a spiritual being, having a, a physical experience, then you're good. And that's where I'm at right now. I have a long way to go. I'm not saying that I'm this, you know, super spiritual being, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, Definitely in a better place. And it's a big distance emotionally. Let's just go from the emotional factor. Let's not weigh anything else like spiritual, physical, uh, mental, all that. Just on an emotional level, being in a more consistent negative vibration, even to the point where you're raising your voice and your vocal cords are getting used to that High, yelling, just like when you're in the hood, right? That's what most of that energy is. It's very toxic and it's constant and it's, it's intense. It's that anything will pop off at any given moment energy. And when you can go from being in that state of being to being completely opposite of that, to the point where if you try to get angry and you're yelling and shit, that shit hurts your vocals. It hurts your voice. It's a painful experience now because your body has become so conditioned to not being in that negative state. And that's where I'm at right now. And it feels good to re be grateful to be at that state of being instead of the, the one that I just talked about. 
So that's why I came up with this theme today because I wanted to spread this message to everybody listening that will be downloading later and listening throughout the week is that are you doing that on a consistent basis? If not, then the time is always now. So let's talk about, let's change the subject for a little bit. Let's talk about the importance of faith, right? If you notice, things are getting worse little by little. It's like you hear a news clip, a snippet. You hear a multitude of snippets really every day. A lot of it evolves around death. A lot of it is social engineering. A lot of it is propaganda. But little by little, it's happening more and more. And you can see how almost like the walls are coming in on the, on the USA, little by little. And everything is still functioning like it's this new normal. But there's this tension in the air that you can slice with a, with a knife. You know, it's real thin. And it's like that any given moment, things can pop off here. And I think that could go on for several years or it could go on for the next 12 months. Who knows? That's why I'm so grateful to be practicing these positive ways of thinking opposed to the negative. And there's a part of me that feels bad for those that are in that state. And hopefully they have enough time to get out of it because it's not easy. But it's, you know, all of the struggle on that journey to get to that better place that you want to be at, that you, ha it's like you have to work really hard for it. And then even when you get there, you got to work even harder to maintain it. Because that's when the attacks really start coming at you. But then you just get better at it, you know, to where it's like, it is what it is, and it's not going to affect you in any way, shape, or form. You're going to always spiritually be strong enough to deflect, to keep that spiritual force field tight, you know, where there's nothing can penetrate it. So shout outs to everybody in the chat room. We got Brother Mauricio, man. Yeah, we're doing it live five days a week, brother. Hope to see you there. Thank you for the support. Shout outs to Sister Antoinette, Mystic, Danita. Shout outs to Alkaline J, Brother Cook. Shout outs to Brother Kyle. And shout outs to all the people that are listening that are not chiming into the chat room. Appreciate y'all. So let's take another intermission. Um, I'm going to keep it under two hours today, people. A little bit shorter. Probably do about hour and a half to hour and 45 minutes. Um, I don't want to talk too much about the attitude of gratitude. And I'm going to save my new segments and clips for tomorrow. But why don't we take a break? We'll listen to some music. And if anybody has a, a request, feel free to plug it into the chat room. And I'll let y'all think about what we just discussed, the attitude of gratitude. And why not take a moment in this intermission to be grateful for all that you have and that you've been given. So let's take a break and I'll be right back. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I've acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare skills for people that like that you. Make me a nightmare for people like you.
are now tuned in to the network of awareness. All praise to the Father, Elohim. This world and all its lies would never for me. I used to want to fit in so bad. I thought I would love it. But hindsight shows me that I was someone I wasn't. No, I was lost. I can't harp on my past enough. It made me. That's why sometimes I look back and look as a reminder of who I was. But y'all flipped the script for me real quick. No spatula. Hey. Serving guys what I'm doing right now. Seeing everything he's done got me like, wow. He's marvelous. His word, you can never argue. With it. It's all too real, but for two thirds, it's hard to listen. All you gotta do is follow his laws, you nitwits. But instead, you choose fame and to fall with riches. But when you're wounded, who you gon' call to stitch it? Y'all tripping, y'all ain't gonna listen. All praise to y'all. Yeah, all praise to y'all. Yeah, uh, all praise to y'all. All praise to Yah. All praise. All, all, all praise. I gotta give him praise each and every single day. I can see why mama always stayed on her knees to pray. Mama. Every night, every morning, reading from a Bible page. She would pray and sing with all her heart. Just like King David didn't fully comprehend it then. But I do now. Cause if you ain't got your faith intact. Who's a loose child, even worse If you don't know who he is Or even tried to get close You know what, please just seek him out Cause it's worth it, he ain't asking for much Nah, we just want your faith And your everlasting trust There's nothing in this world that you can compare To his love when he's with you Not a strand of your hair will be touched If that ain't love, I don't know what is Tell me. Many times we're forgiven Even though we've sinned yeah. The road isn't easy, but nothing in this life Ever is, no sir it all takes some time. All praise to Yah. All praise to Yah. Then let it be If you're scared with no faith do? Don't feel me It was a somewhat strange afternoon. afternoon I was working in the shop When I got the news, got the news. I was startled by a small click small They said ghosts grab your things hey, And come quick I could feel the tension I could feel the noise They said ghosts They sold them out For a bag of coins We can see it in each other's eyes This is the day we talk about Man, it's time to ride Running On my way down to Calvary Running out of breath I hope the heat Don't be mad at me I'm on my way I've been late But I just found out when they told me, I said, what are you talking about? Followed up with man who told you that. Grab my sword and put it in the sheet that's on my back. Thinking, is this the day I lose my life? Because I got to go to war for the love of Christ. I show up and it ain't looking right. All the Hebrews here to yell and out, kill Christ. I'm getting mad, I'm tired of being nice. I look Peter in his eye when he denied him thrice. All I can do is just shake my head. Now I'm weaving through the crowd, I got to touch his hand. I can't fold, I gotta take a stand. So I yell, hold it up. I know this man. 
You had my back when there was no one left. Before I turn on you, I pray for death. Praying at your feet before I go to sleep. Fast life, no food, I don't wanna eat. Staying at the guard, watching grill me. The prayer made them drag you away, they gotta kill me. If I lose my life, then let it be. If you're scared with no faith, you don't feel me. Such a beautiful day, I can't complain Yahweh has showed us the way But this crowd outside is going insane I stick my head out the door just to be sure it's okay I see ghosts moving through a crowd Aiding the Messiah, trying not to let the angry crowd Hang and crucify him Before I join the fray, I pray to scuba diving That's my Lord and Savior, I gotta do what's right So I fight, if you don't stand for Yah Who are you? Man, why the fuck are you breathing? Come on, tell me I see a couple guards stuck with team and ghosts Y'all put it on my soul to help me meet some, yo Ain't gonna sit around and watch my brother fall If I die, at least I know I went out Give him my all Yeah, this mob might be a bit too much But if you want the son of y'all yeah, You gotta get to us Here we are, just against them I see a lot of swords and bows But we ready, we ready, we ready Come on, ready, yeah Yahweh, I know you with me I sure is the light of day All praise to God You had my back when there was no one left Before I turn on you, I pray for death Praying at your feet before I go to sleep Fast life, no food, I don't wanna eat Staying at the guard, watching grill me Before I let them drag you away, they gotta kill me If I lose my life, then let it be If you're scared with no faith, you don't feel me You had my back when there was no one left Before I turn on you, I pray for death Praying at your feet before I go to sleep Fast life, no food, I don't wanna eat Music Satan's favorite gateway because music can be a demonic portal. Um, what I mean by that, you know, everybody knows the popular quote, what goes in must come out, all right? Because whatever you feed your mind and soul is going to eventually reflect in your actions and your thoughts. Thoughts. It's a fight to the finish Just like Tyson and Silas The spirit guides me to finish To touch you, I hope you feel it No doubt, and that's for the pigeons This right to the feeling of evil Manipulating this generation of children The things I see in the media Got me heated up Girls barely in their teens Used for pedophilia Got this. Celebrities simply misleading them How can you live with yourself Knowing damn well that you deceiving them Feeding them nonsensical bullshit But they mental like it's cool to be famous When you know it's detrimental Y'all convince them that it's hard work Dedication and God Last time I checked We give all our praises Straight to Yahweh Hey come on The music is more than just vibes it Keeps us pushing forward Every day of our lives It's my nine to five To do it and do it right You know I gotta stay on the grind If deception was the only way That I could reach the beat I would stop rapping in a heartbeat Music is a way of praise And Father Yahweh and He But Babylon tells you Chase the dream Infinite songs But only one Got people so petrified 
in one's life lies Y'all are Satan, choose a side A lot of righteous haters try to play both sides They lack faith and work so spirit stays penalized I realize life is hard without the most high And he who knows there's much to learn is really wise Mad grateful to be alive to see the sun rise Try to stop my vibes, I'm exercising swords and arms I'm in my prime, righteously prepared to shine and grime So shock this surprise every time you analyze my rhymes Cause all is aligned with stars you can't even find I spit that light that leaves chills up in your spine You could have water but didn't, who you kidding? And my fans for and forbidden, who the fuck is you fibbing? You better think twice before you think on tripping on y'all children If you feel hard, then we gonna make you harder, hear it? If deception was the only way that I could reach the me, I would stop rapping in a heartbeat. Music is a way of praising Father Yahweh Elohim. But Babylon tells you chase the dream. If in its songs, but only one third of it is living up to what it's supposed to be. Think Elohim for the women who understands the power of music. Influences your behavior or well, people's you, behavior. If you allow music to do it, it's a difference. You know, like I said, there's people out here who could consume music one way and not, well, at least they feel they're not affected by it. There's other people who live their life through music. Like anything that certain artists say is Bible to them. You are now tuned in to the Network of Awareness. Focus devoted to get a crown in the road with it. Road is narrow and focused. You can tell by the way in which he goes with it. None of these rappers, y'all opposers of law, sold in them. Holding them all accountable for the music controlling them. Countless of hundred thousands of soulless people supporting them. Righteous music accounts, most folks won't go to them. Don't worry about it, cause Yahweh knows who the chosen is. Shalom to them for constantly dropping projects for y'all to spin. For the spirit, what you hearing, now you confident. Daily battle, fighting hard like we in a boxing gym. Babylon ain't looking tall no more, she needs oxygen. Got the wind, still got motions floating that we got to live. Positive, roller coaster, corporate, watch cooperative. Jab now, cry later, just not with the consequence. Zombies swelling in the dark, my direction where Yahweh is. Destined for greatness, but not the kind that you're thinking of. Pointless being famous in a realm that the demons run. Yet, you still got takers who make it, make it vibrations. Elated eagles and cadences leave you feeling all vacant. Cause Satan takes them and breaks them and makes them look real amazing. The gaze and phase in the matrix, embracing the fake and awaken. The cake and bacon temptation, persuades to change your foundation. If Yahweh in it, you'll break the end of this population. Uh.
Jeffrey is for the truth, and you've loved the Jeffrey. Yeah, rap city, get that things last really off the rip. Not giving the fuck. What's up? What what? Y'all really want it? Catch me in the ghost like a motherfucker on it. Catch me in the roof in the slit. Known to rock mics proper. I was made for this shit. It ain't hype. Yo, it's tight, right? I love my life. I love my life, life.
more trap beats. She said she don't fuck with fake, she the realest. Yeah. Shorty got a heartbreak, I can heal it. Ayy, I be so high off life, I can't feel my face. She wanna rock like Chris Rock, I'm the head up. Stay. She said she don't fuck with fake, she the realest. Ayy, Shorty got a heartbreak, I can heal it. Ayy, I be so high off life, I can't feel my face. She wanna rock like Chris Rock, I'm the head up. Stay. You know I be starving, where's the feedback? I'm out of this world, E.T., where the weed at? Where's it at? These haters are soft, I gotta go harder. Hustle, lava tasting like coconut uh-huh. water. The energy training, I gotta go charge uh-huh. it. I punch it, I kick it like bitches is Sparta. Let me slow it down for all of my people. Ay. The way I sound, I know it seem evil. Ay. But I promise, homie, I'll be so righteous. righteous. If you can't see it, then open your iris. See it, see it. In the streets like Sesame, I don't see why. Not. Uh-huh. They be trying to impress me, I just be like, stop. Hold up. Little Brody be trying to diss, I be like, man, what you talking about? Little Brody like 26, and you still live at your mama house. <laughs> Every time I bust a flow, I see way, hey, hey, be waters. Yeah. Every Friday I see your hoe, I'm like, hey, 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 Miss Parker. Yeah. But I don't want your hoe, cause I'm way, hey, hey, smarter. I would love to help out, but I ain't, ain't, ain't the father. Nah. Better tell your man to handle his business. Hey, so he don't have to be all of my business. Hey, and all black think think that I'm gothic. It's prophecy, I collect the profit. She said she don't fuck with fake, she the realest. Hey, shorty got a heartbreak, I can heal it. Hey, I be so high off life, I can't feel my face. She wanna rock like Chris Rock, I'm the head up. Stay. She said she don't fuck with fake, she the realest. Shorty got a heartbreak, I can heal it. Ayy, I be so high off life, I can feel my face. She wanna rock like Chris Rock, I'm the head of state. You are now tuned in to the network of awareness. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo.
Hey, hey, hey. Hey, here I am. Should I kick down the door? Huh? Or bust in the window? Or knock on the door? Or pee through the people? I finally don't make it inside. Okay. Finally, finally. You probably wonder what I'm doing here. Looking for pieces from my past. Man, you gotta find them. If I find them, I can put them together. I just wanna take a seat and sit out instead of the puzzle. I just wanna know what I did wrong, huh? What I gotta do to fix it and make it right. Cause right now I'm sitting in darkness. Planning y'all to be in the light down. On the location of the puzzle, on the area I need to visit next. Hey, hey, I spotted me on Mark. I did. Let me write on the wall that I've been here. On that I cried and reminisced. On the bullshit that I did in my past. I want a dumbass Straight from the gutter to the porch Why jump off the porch with getting ready Running out that homie steady I'm in my last tear as I head out to my journey Open up, let me in, let me in. I'm looking for him that can change my life and clean all my sins. Clean all my sins. Not looking for Jesus, not looking for God, I'm looking for Yah. And I'ma keep getting louder, louder. Every time I knock, knock. It's been a long journey, journey. Had to walk it all solo, solo. I'm trying to live forever, ever. Never yelled out YOLO, never. Never yelled out YOLO, no. Do you play both sides? No. Do you like to get high? No. Are you scared if you die? No. I've been through the fire, I'm tough enough for that spiritual armor. armor. I done found a Messiah. Messiah. Tell mama, mama, my head's high, now I'm laughing when they try to bring the drama. Arms on, legs on, chest on, heads on, on. Special to me, metaphors crazy. About to butcher this beat. Maka Meyer psycho, never been unstable. I am very faithful to my sisters, to my brothers. Yes, we come from different mothers. Shout out to the Hebrews, the one who is righteous. The other knuckleheads need to drown in the ocean. Very fortunate that I found a real family. The ones you know your whole life turn on you swiftly. On and off, like a light switch to personality. Stay very far away, real artists on here, we are here to stay. You are now tuned in to the network of Orange. Different. 
feel like I got my mind right. It took me time and time and time just to put it together. You know you not learning nothing when you second guessing. Because it all lies. All lies. In school for 12 years plus Got the nerd to give us a paper certificate I've been watching quite some time Finally that I see what's going on Every time that I lay down Yeah, yeah I feel, I feel, I feel Yeah, sad I, I'll start out my morning around about uh, 6 o'clock You know, like I got a choice Sister Yeah It's rough Trapped in a world yeah. where they don't want how you learn. No, no, you're learn. No, they want everybody to say. Yeah. They don't want to see their proper growth and development. They're spanning my brain so I can learn what I can. Learn what I can. All because of how you learn it. Learning knowledge that I never thought I would. You can me, yeah. Cause of how you learn Remember 6 a.m. waking up to get to class. Now it be 5 a.m. I'm rising up to hit them laps. You know School it. never taught me to be this disciplined with myself. All praise to Yahweh, been Yahweh helping me with my health. The spirit keeps me up even though we all packed in the jungle. The elites be lying, they want you mentally trapped in a bubble. You see them smile on TV, always acting like they love you. Don't want to see you rise up, they want to see you ash and rough. I keep my acts in humbleness in hopes that the Lord will favor me even more. Because he's the one that has my number. He's been my guy. He's made me wise. He's all I know until the end. I'm gonna grind. Looking up to the sky, trying to stay righteous with the stone on my side. The crown of life is my why. I'm asking, Father, please help guide me to the light. Trapped in a world yeah. where they don't want how you learn. No, no, you're learn. No, they want everybody to say. Yeah. They don't want to see their proper growth and development. They're spending my brain so I can learn what I can I learn what I can All because of how you learn it Learning knowledge that I never thought I would You get me, yeah Cause of how you learn it Yeah Sure every day you do your own research, you seek out the truth, you stand in your truth no matter what. Ever heard. Attitude yeah. reflect me. Attitude reflect me. Attitude reflect me. Attitude. Let's get it. Use your own mind, be your own man, use your third eye. Gotta take a stand, always walk by faith. Fuck man, what they say, just always be you. Keep on seeking truth. I had no choice, I had to make it All them chances I kept taking on myself All within, hide yourself, I channel him Yahweh God to me, how can I lose these niggas fools Taking COVID jabs, I see right past the hokey dokey shit The joke, just keep your third eye woke Cause they will try to sleep you, but my vibration rising higher Gone, I'm gliding, wings are spreading, now I'm flying Government spying, they trying to kill you off One by one, agenda 21, 22, they keep hiding the truth Open up your eyes, stand in your truth Open up your eyes, keep on me and you Open up your eyes, stand in your truth Open up your eyes, just keep on me and you Use your own mind, be your own man Use your third eye, gotta take a stand Always walk by faith, fuck man what they say Just always be you Keep on seeking truth, really growing, awaken, vibration, raising, I'm flowing, toxic energy, I'm shedding, seeing everything with my third eye, you can't relate, if you sleep, you a sheep, you can't see what's going on in front of you, you hypnotized by the TV, this shit getting crazy, pushing agendas, the truth is constantly hitting, you forbidden from waking up anybody, when you do, they silence it, only way to get ahead, is sell your soul, once you jump down the rabbit hole, can't turn back, open up your eyes, stand in your truth, Open up your eyes, keep on me and you Open up your eyes, stand in your truth Open up your eyes, just keep on me and you Use your own mind, be your own man Use your third eye, gotta take a stand Always walk by faith, fuck man what they say Just always be you, keep on seeking truth Use your own mind, be your own man Use your third eye, gotta take a stand Always walk by faith Fuck man what they say Just always be you Keep on seeking truth
We back live five days a week, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Feels good to go back to the old schedule. All the supporters on Supercast, Spreaker, Apple, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, and the rest of y'all. And thank you for all those that are downloading directly from the website. Definitely appreciate that. It'd be nice if we could get everybody to the website. Download from there. Networkofawareness.com. So grateful for the most high.
I've been waiting on you, it's always been you For seven years I've been trying to deny it Seven years all of these feelings I'm hiding Seven years with someone I couldn't vibe with But you warned me, like you pleaded with me When you told me to leave, but I wouldn't I was talking to you when I should have And wanted to tell you, move on when I couldn't Your love's like a hurricane when it forms I got caught in the eyes of the storm I only dreamt to be caught in your arms Now I'm afraid to be caught in this arm It's an internal right I'm crashing and burning and I'm for sure I'm no pilot I try to keep everything private I really don't know if I can survive this I've been waiting for a long time And I'm losing my mind and my patience My feelings are nothing to play with Here we go again, it's back to the basics We go back and forth, then we lose touch At each other's neck like true blood This is too much, I do too much for a true love This is true love in my line Never that I always said you were my better half Anything that she wanted, I let her have Should've known nothing good in life ever last Then my line It's only facts I said my goodbyes, I ain't coming back Told you there's no way that we'll come back from that So I fade up black and I break a snap She was lying Where's the love? I pushed you away cause I had enough You added to the pain, no one I had it rough away Had me thinking that I'm not good enough I've been falling, I've been flying Now I'm hurting and I'm dying You told me apart so hard Now I'm twisted and divided Maybe it's you, but what if it's me? What if I'm not what you thought I would be? I could bless you without having this sleep, but a woman like you is not easy to please. See, you could be cold and my temper is heated. We're broken and can't find the pieces. This thing that we have is misleading. Or could it be that there's a reason? Or maybe you're hiding your feelings. Maybe I'm not the one you're being feared with. This is just something that you gotta deal with. Maybe you're hurting and need time for healing. No, you're dead inside and need time for grieving. Maybe cause you have nothing to believe in. Say you love me, but did you even mean it? What is the reason for you always leaving? Tell me, what will you do with those other guys? When I'm the one that gives you butterflies When are you going to realize That I'm the one that gives you real vibes This is real life The fruits of my labor are real right This battle we have is a real fight I wanna give up but I hang tight Cause it feels right in my life Show me love We try to work out but it never goes I was falling for something that never was But it ain't high for you It's a better drug I ain't lying I show you love The love that I give was more than enough But still somehow you wanna make this wrong That's why I continue to call you bluff When the hands I try to hold back, but I can't help I try to show you what this man felt But you're just so into your damn self It's a damn shame that I love you I put no one else above you I fell for you cause I trust you I want nobody else but you, girl So please don't make me say fuck you Then I'm turning my back Make no mistake cause I love from the past Got questions I know will hurt if I ask I can't have the good if I can't take the bad Yeah, you're driving me insane The thought of even losing would never be the same There's nothing left to say Don't know what I would do If I could never see your face Nah, nah You're holding my temper and seated We're broken and can't find the pieces Or could it be that there's a reason? Tell me why You're driving me insane Don't know what I would do If I could never see your face
He said, yo, take, don't you take your foot off the gas. Always something to give y'all praises. We're the dark oasis for countless cases. A peak of faithless, I'ma need the patience. Defeat them chases, we seek his graces. For true salvation, we keep abrasing. We go on place these revelations. Teach the no old cases. Good vibrations, we back to basics. To build foundations, y'all defeated Satan. On a main mistakes on purpose. To divide the worth from the worthless. Reveal the facts to be certain. No pain, no gain in the verses. My faith been alive before churches. Cause y'all is person, I'm person. So I'm wearing complicated versions. Cause the call to divide the virgins. I'm still hurting, soul searching, networking and murking. Anytime they can drop my curtain with a spirit that city suburban. I'm seriously merging and physically working on my purpose to lyrically service the mental mouth nourish until I perish. Yeah, we're pursuing acts of violence, third persistent act of the violence, freely forming a righteous alliance, truly against the science appliance. On a mission with wisdom and guidance, steady to be in the ignorant science, silly convicted and non compliant, spiritual wars to move inside. Let's science. talk about what matters. Drop the vanity, folks out here losing their sanity, kids popping off lost in fantasies, people grieving over loss of family, the evil that be with the power, turning the people with creeds to cowards, seeking to seize believers with vows. Many even Stevie can see that it's foul. I'd have made mistakes on purpose to divide the worth from the worthless, reveal the facts to be certain, no pain, no gain in the verses. My faith been alive before churches, cause Yah is person or person, so I'm wearing a complicated verse. Cause the call to divine divergence I'm still hurting, soul searching Networking and murking Anytime they can drop my curtain With a spirit that city suburban I'm seriously merging And physically working on my purpose To lyrically service The mental mouth nourish until I perish Depression gone with every song Music led by another echelon To get you strong, keep pressing on Long after we dead and gone From dust till dawn, we're righteously on With spiritual lessons from Yah We where we belong, we keeping on The righteous with third is Zion Records embellished with heavenly eloquence. Elohim's presence presently evident. Intricate elements, infinite intelligence. Spiritual specimens, lyrically resonant. The gift was inheritance, smaller percentages. Can't believe measured and meant to be shared. With the message projected, cemented, embedded. The sensible, sensible question is, what will you give from it? I've made mistakes on purpose to divide the worth from the worthless. Reveal the facts to be certain. No pain, no gain in the verses. My faith been alive before churches. Cause Yah is person or person. So I'm wearing my complicated versions. Cause the call to divine divergence. I'm still hurting, soul searching. Networking and murking. Anytime they can drop my curtain. With a spirit that city suburban, I'm seriously merging and physically working on my purpose to lyrically service the mental mouth nourish until I perish. Hello, positive people. You are now tuned in to the Network of Awareness podcast radio station, giving you in depth information on society and culture in America and abroad with messages of inspiration, with keen insights, reputable interviews, and much more. So now, without further ado, your host of the Network of Awareness podcast, Aura, the Informationalist. So people, I hope you enjoyed that intermission. Let me take this reverb. I always forget to do that, people. All right, we're back to normal. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, little, uh, I did a longer intermission just because I didn't want to cut it too short, keep it still within the two hour limit. Uh, We're a little over an hour and a half. So I'll leave this little bit of time left for... You know, the people in the chat room, I appreciate everybody being in here. 
and really being engaged in the chat room tonight. And I look forward to this because I felt like some of the chat room momentum had left because um, I started making a lot of changes before I was still going live and then I would I was changing it up and I was getting caught up in in the lack of like downloads and the shadow banning and stuff and um it worked you know that that distraction that they do when it comes to shadow banning and censorship it takes a toll but I got over it and that's why that was part of the reason why I went back to doing these live shows where it's not going to be a limit to the length of the show. There'll be some structure to it in the regards to under two hours, but sometimes we go over, you know, it is what it is. You know, you let the spirit guide, guide the way, you know, and when you let the spirit guide the way, it, it's not going to lie to you because the spirit doesn't know how to lie. But I say that to say that now going back to the live shows, hopefully that momentum can build back up again and that have that stability of consistency. Because I, I'm admit that I was changing it up a lot, you know. So part of the reason, though, for last uh, last month to being cut short was just to have more time to contribute to putting the uh, the TV channel together because. That's a lot of work, people, and it's not something that is can be done in a short period of time. Like you can set things up, but you want to make sure that you set it up the right way. And that's what we're doing uh, for the channel. So the first premiere of the show will will give you like 16, between 16 and 20 hours of different content. So... That's going to be very interesting. Um, and it's going to actually be more than average because it'd be double that. But I figure we start out strong and then update it, you know, on a week to week basis with more and more content. So let's see, you know, um, I forgot to, or you ever think of going to Puerto Well, I've been to Puerto Rico a bunch of times, Cook. And the thing is with Puerto Rico, I haven't been there in a while and I don't really have the desire to do so. Not because of anything in particular, but that place, you know, it's um, it's not what it used to be, you know, for a lot of reasons. And if I was to go for like a, a couple of days, yeah, maybe, you know, that wouldn't be a big deal. But to go over there, it's it's too unstable. It's got a lot of propaganda and a lot of, uh, you know, it's a commonwealth. So it's it's been a place that's been very heavily manipulated. And not to mention that it does have, um, you know, the situation with the alphabet gang too over there. So to answer your question, brother, not really. I'd rather go somewhere towards South America. To be honest with you. But I wanted to go back because I saw some things earlier into the chat room since and you know, feel free to to post your comments for the show. All right, cool. I'm just looking here. Oh, where would I go? Maybe Colombia, just because I can have something set up out there through my brother. But then again, I say this with, with the most confidence is that wherever the spirit leads me. So wherever I'm led to is where I will go. But then again, I'm not going to lie to you. There's a part of me that wants to, I know it sounds crazy, but there's a part of me that wants to stay here for the turmoil. To face it head on. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but if I'm meant to leave, then I'll leave, you know, obviously. But there's a part of me, you know, that's got that itch to be like, let's stick around and see what happens. <laughs> Not that that's a good thing, but who wants to stick around for calamities, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, I got that little part of me that feels that. 
But I can also go to other places too, man. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities when it's leaving this place. But then again, the B system is is worldwide. So that's another thing. You know, something about Colombia that I found out is that they have taxes just like America on property. The, the difference is that they give you a longer period of time to, to settle your, your, your tax debt for your, your land. I think it's like five, five years, over five years before, you know, you're issued whatever type of penalty. But something I wanted to get to before I forget, I saw that people said they were having visions. And Sister Antoinette said she had visions of, of you know, exterminating people. <laughs> and uh, she had visions of flying. We had Sister Danita saying she had a vision of the moon falling from the sky right before dawn. Then zombies came out and we were going at it. <laughs> Every time I woke and went back under, I was in the same vision. You know, it's interesting you say that because I had a similar experience a while, while back. But my experience wasn't like zombies. They were like cyborgs of some virus or some type of science appliance that they were injected. And the crazy part of the, gene, uh, the dream is that they were trying to stab me with needles. And I believe that the needles were science appliance, all different types. And they would like stabbing people with a bunch of them at the same time. And they would just, <laughs> it, was, it was scary. It was one of those dreams that um, my adrenaline, I could feel in my dream was very high. Because I was being chased nonstop. But they wasn't zombies. They were more like genetically modified human beings. That's the best way I can explain it. They looked distorted and enhanced all at the same time. But it's interesting how we have these dreams and visions that we have where we go into these deep, state, deep states and realms of alternate realities within this vast universe and you start to experience things on an outer body level, it can be quite exhausting. That's part of the buildup. That's part of the school of, of uh, spirit where you're, you're having to, you know, do work and homework. And that homework being, you know, speaking... Um, metaphorically being the home when you go to sleep and you do your homework in your sleep, you know what I mean? And have your experiences. Yet, you know, that vision of flying, that's a very powerful uh, vision to have and experience, especially when you're having it on a consistent basis. I haven't had that in a while, to be honest with you. But I do remember there was a time where I was in so much control of it to where if I would land, I would start running again and take off, you know, but I would run for a minute, like almost like an airplane taking off. And then I would, and then I was getting really good at controlling it to where I could do it whenever I want. But then I, I had, you know, it's been a while. My dreams now are experiences from like, past experience of people I knew, but having those experiences in like the future or having a different type of experiences with these people from my past in the future. And, you know, it's all like, I take it as signs. I try to analyze it and take it as a sign for whatever lesson or sign that's being given to me or warning or, you know, those premonitions and even in your, in your awakened state, your intuition can be a superpower too. In your reality, you know, in this third dimensional reality that we live in, intuition can be very powerful in the spiritual warfare. That's for sure. Let me, I'm just um, looking to the chat to see if there was any other types of questions that I may have missed. The good thing is I don't have to scroll too far. 
Oh, I see something else here um, from Brother Cook. It says, oh, I want to say you get the way you rap, you would never see it in your style. Keep it up, bro. Oh, thanks, man. It's something I'm very, that's, yeah, you know, speaking of gratitude, I'm very grateful that I came out, came out of my hiatus when it comes to MC. And I still got a ways to go to really express the 13 years of not rhyming at all. Still writing here and there, but not, not rhyming. Just, you know, spitting old, old, old songs on a consistent basis whenever I get a chance. And that was about the most I would get out of it. But now that there's new songs coming out, um, and it's more an active uh, practice. I'm definitely grateful for that, for sure. Oh, Mexico. I'm going to tell you, no, I, I wouldn't think about Mexico only because the cartels. I wouldn't want to even be nowhere in that vicinity. I don't care if even if I'm in a place that's not harassed that much or whatever. I just wouldn't want to be over there, you know? And even though I would, I would blend in, you know, I would probably use my street skills from back in the days of just being in the hood for, you know, since a little kid and seeing all the different things I've seen growing up, but it would be, it wouldn't be safe. It wouldn't be safe at all. Cause it's, it's real out there, man. It's no joke. People think it's um, it's it's on a whole nother level, man. And those are the types of situations where people think they got it good here in in the USA because they don't experience that yet. But it's a moments away, you know. It's whenever the Most High allows it to be, man. It's really that close where we're at, but we still at least have that freedom where we could walk down streets and somewhat be safe from, from danger that in other countries is like, you can't really go outside or to certain places. And you have something like that here, but not really. I mean, there's some, there's some hoods you can't go to or whatever, but you know, which, you know, you can kind of identify that as a responsible adult. And, you know, there's like certain neighborhoods that ain't worth going around anyway, because there's nothing going on there, but a lot of shady, a lot of shady acti activities. So if there's any, if there's no more questions, I'm going to wrap this up. I want to thank everybody for taking the time out to join the Most High Monday. If you want to do it again, um, we're going to have another episode tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we're back to the five-day-a-week schedule. And I want to say forever favors and stay upright and be diligent and another week. And another thing I want to say before I go is you notice how fast time is moving, right? Now, we all know that time doesn't exist, but do you notice how fast time is just passing us by. I'm noticing it with the, with the podcast, like whether it's my podcast or anybody that I listen to within my cipher, it's like a two hour show. Like today it feels short. It doesn't feel long. The only reason if this one felt a little longer, like it, it was the music that was playing, but things are going by so quick these days. So it's very important to be grateful because you know, a day goes by so quickly. Being the, uh, definitely make sure that be, even though it goes by quick, that you're in that state of gratitude so that it, you don't really get to miss out on the day having a, uh, having gratitude for what you have every day will make you appreciate and get more out of these short days than more you know, most people, most people don't get a lot of joy out of the day or appreciation or gratitude or a lot of people don't have faith. So we are the spiritual minority. 
might do a show called The Spiritual Minority now. Got to make a note of that. <clears throat> so with that being said, um, don't look for the light at the end of the tunnel, brothers and sisters, because the light is and always will be within you. So light up the tunnel and find your way through the darkness. And when you live in the present, there's always an opportunity for a new beginning. This is all the information the same. Peace, love, and light, and Baraka Da. All praise to the Most High. Good night. Night, night.